Hello, I'm JP and welcome to my channel, Real Life DJ. If it's your first time here, you might wanna consider subscribing. This video is in response to a couple of messages I've had asking me about Facebook copyright issues and how to deal with them. I hope you're all enjoying uh, the extreme number of DJ related content videos that I'm producing at the moment. Um, a big thank you to everybody who's sending me in questions to my hashtag questions series. If you're new and you haven't seen that series, you might wanna check out the link above. There'll also be a link at the end and in the description. On to why you're here and watching the video. I've been asked a fair few times now how to beat the Facebook live stream copyright issues that many DJs are currently having. And I've seen several videos on YouTube that are not exactly factually correct. So I wanted to address this point and detail exactly what I believe to be the solution to getting around the Facebook algorithm legitimately. I hope you have liked this video and subscribed to my channel. Now would be a perfect time. If you've not, just pop down there, press that like button. We'll just, we'll wait a second. And while you're there, if you haven't done so, press subscribe, please. That's amazing, thank you. Right, it's all about confusing the Facebook algorithm by putting additional data into the stream, which stops it from picking up and recognizing the data packets that allow it to match to a known copyrighted tune. Now, you may ask, isn't it illegal to do this? It's only illegal if you don't have the permission. Now, there's certain things that you might be outputting. For instance, you might have a subscription to a certain system that allows you to produce a radio show and it gives you the rights to produce and share that in certain countries. And so you might be uh, have a business Facebook account that is set to appear in only in those countries. And you might be going out on your radio station and you might be streaming that on your Facebook channel as well. And you do actually have the permission, you've paid the license uh, through your radio. Now, whether or not you've got the rights to put it through your through Facebook and their terms and conditions, that's for you and Facebook to sort out. But you're only doing it in the designated areas where you're meant to, so I'm gonna be working on that basis and I'm gonna work on the basis that you actually do have that permission. Now, if so, then you need to produce a special type of file. I was gonna produce a video to show you exactly how to produce this file and then how to drop it in to the system, but that's quite time consuming. And a friend of mine who actually produced um, the file and has practiced at using the file, does live streams all the time, has actually produced a video on how to do it. He explains on his first video how to produce the file. Um, and then in his second video, he shows in detail actually how to put it together and put it into the system and make it work for you. So opposed to me just repeating exactly what he's doing, done and doing another version of that, I thought what I'll do is I'll put a link to his video at the end which shows how to produce it. Um, I'll also put a video link there for you. So you can pop along either at the top, the bottom or in the description and you'll be able to go and check out and follow step by step how to produce the file that's needed. If you've been following my raw recent hashtag questions series, you'll know this is the point in my video that I like to give a shout out to other DJs that have YouTube DJ channels. And in this video, I want to bring to your attention and introduce to my channel, DJ Lazy Boy, Gregory uh, Shirell, who, is involved in the Red Bull three-style competition. Unfortunately, DJ Lazy Boy 
has been battling cancer and is raising money through selling hats and caps on his website to finance his uh, treatment. I've also put a link to his YouTube channel above um, and in the description. Uh, also in the description, there's a link to the website, uh, his website, where then you can follow the links to uh, his merchandise and so on. So let's give a big shout out to DJ Lazy Boy. Hope everything goes well with his treatment and wish him all the best. And uh, I look forward to seeing more uh, freestyle um, DJ sets being put out on his YouTube channel in the near future. I'd also like to give a big shout out to DJ Dynablend, who uh, made me aware uh, of Lazy Boy's battle and uh, asked me if I could uh, include him in this set. If you've not subscribed to my channel, then this is the perfect time now to do so, should you wish. And don't forget to turn on that bell. Till next time, JP out. Thank you.